Hello, so I did promise that I would share one more poem with you and it is a fan's favourite. It is written with me and my little latter up, so Billy. If you ever wonder what your dogs are thinking or what they'd say if they had a voice, well, I've given him one and I'm sure you'll like what he has to say. So first of all, I'm going to introduce you to the little chap. Meet Billy. The little lesser up. So he is also my only connection I have with Sophie now, um, as she met him when he uh, on webcam when he was a pup and he was sock on and he couldn't do any tricks for her. So we've written a poem together called Through My Dog's Eyes, a poem for my mummy. <clears throat> A soft pad of paws, my stompy feet. She said my favourite words, do you want a treat? I wish I were human and I had a voice too, as I'd shout from the rooftops, Mummy, I love you. When I am with my mummy, the fun does not end. How I wish I could tell you that you're my best friend. She thinks she's clever and taught me some Spanish. Little does she know she has not, I only twitch my head to acknowledge. She has said the word queso, it means cheese, I think. So I'll just sit still and stare at her as long as I can, trying not to blink. I follow all over and I get under her feet, waiting for her to sit down as her knees on my seat. I snuggle her to keep her warm and I plan to kiss on her nose. I can smell her perfume, I sneeze and ew she goes. I love mummy time, I guard her through the night. She also protects me when the fireworks give me a fright. I roll her to sleep. The cheek of her, she moans when I snore. I think how rude, I carry on and I ignore. My little brother Jimmy, I will tease him to get him to play. Sometimes he won't strip his feeling mischievous one day. We race around daddy's garden, stepping on his handiwork. Peeing on his soil, pulling on his grass, we drive him berserk. Caravan holidays are simply the best. We can be tired from all the walking, our little legs ache and we just want to rest. I don't think Mama is embarrassed, pushing us in our own push chair. Only when we get out to walk again and there's nothing left in there. We stop at the Suncastle Bar. Any excuse for a beer? We listen to the sounds of the waves crashing in our ears. My Auntie Ailey is trying to set us up on a date. A little doggy that belongs to a mate. We are very well mannered. I've learnt that from Mum. However, the little pooch is offended when Jimmy sniffs her bum. He hasn't got the coolness that I have, you see. A cheeky little smile that will make your heart melt for me. I love my life, and of course, my family too. I wouldn't change it for the world, would you? Surrounded by my family, full of love, food, toys and tit tit. Now I bid you good night as I am up to my bed. Good night, lots of love, Billy. Thank you.